The past 11 of March, the Maltese government have an announcement of some restrictions that are going to affect the way people live in Malta, okay? So in this video, I want to talk about those restrictions, but I also want to talk about the travel, the current travel restrictions that the countries have in case someone wants to travel to Malta. So if you are planning on traveling to Malta uh, very soon, please keep watching this video. Um, before starting with all this, I would like to remind you to like and subscribe if this video will give you some value. Okay, so let's start now with the recent restriction that the government announced the past 11 March. Okay, so those restrictions are going to be reviewed on 11 April. It doesn't mean that they are going to be uh, relaxed. It just means that they are going to be reviewed. Okay, and those restrictions affect to four main groups. So the first one are going to be restaurants and coffee shops so basically those restaurants and coffee shops cannot offer dine in anymore but they can still be open for takeaway or home delivery okay another group that are going to be restricted with that with this is going to be pubs bars and and clubs of course those are going to be closed during the whole month another group that is going to be affected by this are going to be the retail shops and those retail shops includes from clothes stores to barber shops, okay? Those are have to be closed, totally closed until 11 April at least. Finally, um, those restrictions affect to people. So basically, uh, the gathering of more than four people are going are not going to be allowed. They are they are banned right now, okay? And again, those are not going to be relaxed until at least 11 April. So those are the four main things that may affect your daily life. You are living here in Malta. And um, now after this, let's try, let's talk about the travel restriction. So those travel restriction doesn't necessarily came from 11 March, as I said before, it came from a bit before, but uh, when you, whenever you want to travel to Malta, you need to check the travel corridor. Um, this travel corridor on Malta have three lists of countries so the green list the amber list and the red list so at this moment there is no any country in the green list um, but there are several countries in the amber list so if your country is in the amber list it means that the it means that if you are residing in this country and want to come to malta you need to uh, do a pcr test in the into 72 hours previous to your travel okay and if you failed in, on doing that, what you are going to be required is doing a quarantine of four or 14 days, okay? So that is very important that you do that if you are trying to come to Malta. And if your country are not included into the Amber List country, all the other countries are going to be included into the Red List country, which means that you cannot travel directly from those countries to Malta. So here is a small trick that you could do. Uh, so let's say that, for example, you are from the U.S. that is not included in the Amber List and you want to travel to Malta. So you, in order to be able to enter Malta, you need to spend at least 14 days in one of those countries that are inside the travel corridor. So you can go, for example, to Turkey, which is inside those, the Amber List, and you can spend in Turkey 14 days. And once you have spent 14 days there, then you can travel from Istanbul to Malta. Okay, this is one of the ways that you have to enter Malta after that, but you need to spend those 14 days in that other country. Okay, um, so this is a little bit uh, all the, the most important restrictions that you have. Um, if you wanna check all the countries that are in this list, please check the link below that I'm going to leave in the description because they are going to give you full information of this. And also I'm going to leave a link of the current restriction that happened to Malta after 11 of March, okay? So you can check those links in the description. Okay, so another thing that you need to provide once you enter Malta is the a travel declaration form and a passenger location form, okay? So those forms you can find in online or you can also find in the airport when you travel, all right? So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what are the current situation in Malta. So right now with the vaccine, Malta have already vaccinated around 25% of the population and they are expecting to reach herd immunity by the end of September, beginning of October, more or less. Okay, so this is uh, the current situation in Malta. All right, and if you enjoyed this video, 
um i remind you again to like and subscribe uh as it will help me a lot to make more videos like this and please let me know if you have any question about traveling about those traveling restrictions or about the current restrictions happening inside the country let me know in the comment um, ask me anything and i will do my best to reply you thank you thank, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one bye